first one rule. What is it? Why is it a thing? And why is it so important in German football? Now I briefly spoke about this rule in my last video and I was met with a little bit of confusion in the comments so I thought I'd do a video explaining exactly what the 50 plus 1 is. Not only looking at the benefits that it has but also the downsides and whether I think this should be implemented in other leagues around the world specifically the Premier League. So what actually is the 50 plus 1 rule? The 50 plus 1 rule is a regulation in German football that means that clubs members, essentially the fans, have the ultimate say in how they are run. Here's how it works. German football clubs must ensure that the majority of voting rights are held by the club itself. This means that outside investors or companies can't come in and take over the club entirely. The plus one refers to the one vote that external investors can hold, but the club must always retain at least 50% plus one additional vote. So no matter what, the club's members always have the final say in important decisions. There are exceptions to this rule, which we can see at Leverkusen and Wolfsburg. These clubs are exempt from the 50 plus one rule because their investors Bayer and Volkswagen have been involved with these clubs for over 20 years. So why is it a thing? The 50 plus one rule was implemented to safeguard clubs from commercial interest taking over and to maintain the club's identities. It ensures that clubs remain rooted in their communities, with fans having a direct say in club matters. Because club members hold the majority of the voting rights, these fans who are often deeply connected to the team's traditions and values actually have control over key decisions, preventing greedy owners and investors from seizing full control. This helps maintain the club's identities and prevents them from being solely driven by money-making motives. Unlike in the Premier League, where wealthy owners take over clubs and the fans get practically no say into the decisions being made at their club. Now let's look at the pros and cons of the 50 plus 1. Because as great as it currently sounds, it's not all positive. And there are people who are actually against this regulation, for reasons I'm about to go into. But first, let's delve into the pros. Obviously starting off with a big one is that fans actually have a say into their club's decisions at these member meetings, where they can vote on important matters, which builds more loyalty and preserves club's traditions. Secondly, greedy owners can't just come in and see clubs as pure investment because they have to operate under this democratic voting system where the fans have the majority of the control. Because fans have such a huge role in their clubs, German clubs actually have some of the highest member counts in the world. In 2021, it was reported that Bayern actually had the highest member count in the world at 293,000 members. Alongside this, Schalke and Dortmund both were sat in the top 10 worldwide. And finally, as I mentioned in my last video, ticket prices and season tickets remain at an affordable price. This all sounds great, so what's the issues? The biggest is lack of investment. Because of the 50 plus one rule, investors don't actually get much say into how the club is ran. So they'd rather put their money elsewhere where they're gonna have a bit more control, somewhere like the Premier League. And I would also presume that these owners wouldn't get voted by the members anyway, because they're not necessarily gonna have the club's best interests at heart as they're there for the commercial investments only. This leads me on to the second issue of 50 plus one, which is less competition. Because these clubs don't have as much investment, they aren't as easily able to acquire top talent and resources because of the financial constraints. If the 50 plus one rule was scrapped and a club was bought by a big investor, it would make the competition better and give the league a bit more exposure. Sort of like how Leverkusen have gained exposure this season, because they've been a far more competitive club. And by competitive, I mean on an absolutely insane unbeaten streak. But this just means that people from outside of Germany are more interested in watching the competition. Now the final issue with 50 plus one is the loopholes, which we've seen happen at RB Leipzig, who are now Germany's most hated football club. Red Bull essentially found a way around the 50 plus one regulation by exploiting a loophole and ended up commercializing the entire club. They did this by ensuring that the club had a very small number of members. I mean, less than 20. Yes, Bayern, you heard that right. They had 20 compared to your 293,000. And these 20 or so members were actually Red Bull employees. This just allowed the brand to take complete control over the club, which is just completely against the traditions and principles held up by German football clubs. Red Bull then went on to entirely rebrand the club from this, which I'm not gonna try and pronounce because I will completely butcher it, to what we now know as RB Leipzig. Even with the name, Red Bull have completely exploited a loophole because the RB actually stands for Rajan Wolfsport. Again, I have butchered the pronunciation. But let's be honest, this is incredibly clever from Red Bull. We all see the RB as Red Bull, even if that's not technically what it is on paper. So should other leagues adopt the 50 plus one rule? Well, some other leagues actually do have similar ownership regulations. For example, Spain has regulations in place to ensure fan involvement in clubs. And some of their biggest clubs are actually registered associations with members 
rather than stakeholders. And the French Football Federation also implemented measures to promote fan involvement in club ownership and the decision-making processes. While not exactly the same as the 50 plus one rule, these regulations aim to maintain stability and integrity within these leagues. I personally love the 50 plus one rule. I think the way that these European leagues have implemented similar structures works well, as this concept of fans having more of a say into the club's decisions helps maintain a loyal fan base and preserve the club's identities, whilst also preventing excessive commercialization. Now, do I think that the Premier League could adopt the 50 plus one rule? Unfortunately not. I do think we're too far gone. However, I do think that some sort of regulation needs to be considered because we're too far gone. Our league is less about football and more about business nowadays. Chelsea is a prime example of this. Our new owner's approach to club management and decision making is purely prioritizing profitability and commercial ventures, which leaves the fans feeling so out of touch with their club. What do you think? Could the Premier League adopt something similar to the 50 plus one rule? Let me know in the comments.